Hello everyone, my name is Marianne Jabrael from the CS490 class and today I'm going to give you an, an overview of the EKRA6M3 um, Renaissance um, Evaluation Board board and um, also a walkthrough of how to, um, to program its microcontroller. So uh, the, the board has a 32-bit microcontroller with ARM core, pretty much one ARM core. And uh, the board features a pre-mounted R7FA6M3AH and 3CFC MCU uh, USB interface that can connect to a PC. Um, connections for expansion options and an Ethernet um, interface here. Um, the board consists of two sections. Um, the top section from here um, to here um, consists of uh, ecosystem and system control access area that is common across all the kit based on, on uh, based of this architecture. Um, the second section from here um, to here is unique to each kit and consists of a special feature access and native MCU pin access areas. Uh, the ecosystem and system control access area features power regulation, debugging, reset, and user buttons, um, power, debug, and user LEDs, boot configuration, USB full speed port, um, uh, ecosystem connectors, and uh, kit information. Uh, the special feature access area can say, contains circuitry to access high volume betterfuls um, unique to the RA6M3 device such as Ethernet, USB, high-speed host and device, uh, and uh, a 32 megabyte external QSPI flash. Uh, the native MCU pin access area consists of a superset device um, from the RA6M3 microcontroller port. Um, um, this area gives uh, access IOs and power pins uh, of the RA device to uh, uh, four pins, one, two, three, four here, uh, four pin, four 40 pin mail headers. It also consists of crystals um, for clock generation and provides clampy loop to measure, uh, to precisely measure microcontrollers um, in uh, USB currents. So the board comes with a PDF file to show you how to use um, all, the, all the sample codes that come with it. So here is the sample code names and the project name um, examples. And they support, support four different studios. Um, the most common one we use is the um, E2 Studio um, GCC. Um, the other one is not, not as much, actually. Um, and as you can see, they don't see all the support, all the projects, but this one supports um, all, pretty much all the projects that we need. Here, and here is a list of all the supported projects. And that's pretty much it. And here's the, the actual projects in the full for, for folder. You can do this USB, the spy interface, the UART, you know, there's everything that this board supports. The two we're going to focus on today are the quick starts here, which controls the LEDs, and, uh, and the free, free RTOS, which is the free real-time operating system. And this uh, real-time operating system controls um, the microcontroller, which is um, very useful. So, so for example, This is the source code. This is uh, this is the entry, and uh, this is uh, the main. As you can see here, um, the main and there is nothing is empty, um, and that and that's because um, they're using threads, um, and this one is the timer. And that's uh, when the timer is starting. And this is the timer and that's pretty much it's all C, C code, which is why it's, um, that's C. Um, so now the way to program the the microcontroller, you need this, uh, which is called the Sager, pretty much is um, JTAC, um, J, which is Jlink Pro, 
you use this um, to for programming um, program the pins uh, and for debugging you can put um, some code or some print screen in your code um, and it will print on your computer so um, I gave it um, 5 volt power USB here uh, so right now it's on um, and this one this one means the debugging is on um, on the computer here as I, as I already said, um, we have a bunch of examples. So, and uh, I also mentioned I'm going to use um, the Quick Start and the Free RTOS, um, Free Real Time Operating System. Um, so, when you compile this application, After it compiled, um, it becomes um, that hex. Um, this is um, all the source code. Since it has the utility, do you see the segger right here? Um, if it has this, the the segger right here, is, it means it supports uh, the, the prints out. That means you can do the login for it. Um, the other the other sample sample code, which is the quick start, if you click it inside and you go to the studio, you don't see the Sager files. That means it doesn't support any prints out. Of course, um, this one we're looking for is already compiled, that hex, um, which means it's already compiled. So, so this one. Uh, the J flash is what, what flashes it. Um, so we're gonna click on it. Um, this is the board we want. Our board is six M three, which is this one, the H one. Um, the two megabytes. This one one megabyte. Ours is two megabytes. So we're gonna click click on it and click OK. This window pops up. This is our device. This is the interface we're gonna talk, and this is the space, the speed. <coughs> so, so on the quick start, we're gonna we're gonna look for this pile. Here and um, it already um, it's it's it, not right now it's selected uh, just the location for it desktop all we need to do is a uh, program device um, so um, when one thing you see that these two are on so it's communicating back um, to here so if you click the I already clicked the reset button um, um uh, the the LEDs um are on so the red green the and red they are blinking slow so what we did with the quick start we detected uh, this button is clicked and this one these two buttons the reset and this one um, this this will make it go faster so if we click it one time it goes faster if we click it um Another time, one more time, um, it goes really quick. If we click it one more, third time, it goes to the original setting. And now, let's say it's um, already quick. We, we click on this one. Um, it goes to reset. It's like it's like a restart. So this one is one application. Now for the next application, which is um, the And we're using um, the G fly, uh, the J flashlight. So we select um, the free RTOS from the G flash, J flash.
um, and this one picked up this um, operating system. Um, so this one has a debugging prints um, associated with it. So we're gonna click. Um, we're gonna look. We're gonna click the viewer again here. So again, we're using the USB um, and everything. So we click OK, and um, we're, we don't see anything. Now we're going to click um, Program Device, and we're going to flash it. And as you can see on the board, um, the LEDs um, stopped. Um, and when we click Reset, no LEDs. So as you can see on the computer, um, all the timers are getting um, successfully. And as I mentioned, there is no LEDs on. And they are not uh, programmed anymore. And you can see that this guy is receiving everything he's sending. So this application is, is going basically through one loop. And studying um, and is waiting for the sem semaphore tasks and is waiting for the GPT and ISR um, tasks to be released. Um, and after one is released, there is a timer for the GTP timer. So on each application, there is a st standard procedure, and they tell you exactly what what the what the task is. Um, for the first one, um, the messages are showing the ISR receiver for a few seconds. So they're pretty much, pretty much commu communicating between them. Um, they, they're using the ISR and semaphore, um, you send in one after the other. And there's um, 500 milliseconds between them, um, actually 200 milliseconds. Um, all you know from this application is that you can implement all the semaphores um, for the OS to be implemented um, for the timer, of course. Now, and that's um, basically it. Um, thank you so much um, for watching, and I hope you learned something.